वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्टैटिस्टिक्स मेड सिंपल एंड आई एम सविता बलसंग In this video based on statistical quality control I'll be explaining the control charts for variables that is the mean chart which is also the x bar chart and the range or the r chart and I'll also find solutions to two mark problems There are certain points to be remembered when we are constructing control limits We first need the population parameters of the quality characteristics which are nothing but the specifications. Parameters are sometimes available from past production process or experience and if they are well accepted we say that they are standards known or given. If the machines or manufacturing processes are set afresh the parameters have to be estimated from the data that is the production process then we say that the standards are unknown or not given there are two different types of control charts control charts for variables and control charts for attributes i will first explain control charts for variables under this we have the mean or the x bar chart and the range which is the r chart now suppose x is a variable quality characteristic the x bar chart is used for the control of average quality level and the r chart is used for the control of variation the mean or the x bar chart suppose the expected production process quality standards that is a process mean which is denoted by x bar dash and the process standard deviation sigma dash are already recorded then we have case 1 that is when the process standards are known which means that x bar dash and sigma dash are known in this case the three sigma control limits are given by cl is equal to x bar dash UCL is equal to x bar dash plus a sigma dash. LCL is equal to x bar dash minus a sigma dash, where a is a statistical constant whose values are tabulated for different sample sizes, which are denoted by n. Suppose that n observations are drawn at regular intervals in which the process is to be checked. Here, samples of size n, usually n equal to four or five, are drawn at regular intervals. Now, coming to case two, when the process standards are unknown, that means x bar dash and sigma dash are unknown. Then, in this case, the three sigma control limits are given by C L is equal to x double bar, U C L is equal to x double bar plus a two r bar. LCL is equal to x double bar minus a two r bar, where x double bar is equal to summation x bar by k, r bar is summation r by k, and r you know that is the range which is x max minus x min, which is nothing but the difference between the largest and smallest x value. And note that k stands for the number of samples. Here, a two is a statistical constant whose values are tabulated for different sample sizes n. Range chart or the R chart. Case one is when the process standard is known, that is, sigma dash is known. Here, the three sigma control limits are given by C L equal to D two sigma dash. UCL is equal to capital D two sigma dash and LCL is D one sigma dash, where D two both lower case and upper case D and D one are constants. Similarly, we have case two when the process standard is unknown. That means sigma dash is unknown. Here, the three sigma control limits are given by CL is equal to R bar. UCL is equal to D4 R bar and LCL is D3 R bar 
and r bar is calculated using the formula summation r divided by k and d4 and d3 are constants which can be obtained from the tables for different values of n. Problem 1. A drilling machine is set to dig holes with a mean diameter of 15 mm and a standard deviation of 0.2 mm. Find the control limits of the mean and range for a sample of size 5. Starting with the solution, if we observe, they have already given us the mean diameter and the standard deviation and so it is a case of the process standards are known. So let us start by writing the values which are given. So given x bar dash is equal to 15, sigma dash is equal to 0 0.2 and n is the sample size which is 5. So let's start with the x bar or the mean chart. So the case will be when the process standards are known that is x bar dash and sigma dash are known. So we know that the 3 sigma control limits are given by CL is equal to x bar dash, UCL is equal to x bar dash plus A sigma dash and LCL is equal to x bar dash minus A sigma dash. And when N is equal to 5 from the statistical tables, we get the value of the constant A as 1.342. Substituting all the values in the control limits, we get CL is equal to 15, UCL is equal to 15 plus 1.342 into 0 0.2, which simplifies to 15 plus 0 0.2684. Similarly, LCL is equal to 15 minus 1.342 into 0 0.2, which is equal to 15 minus 0 0.2684. Therefore, the three sigma control limits for the x bar chart are CL is 15, UCL is equal to 15.2684 and LCL is equal to 14.4316. Now for the R chart, the case will be case 1 when the process standard is known that is sigma dash value is known to us. So the three sigma control limits are CL is equal to lowercase d2 sigma dash UCL is equal to uppercase D2 sigma dash, LCL is equal to D1 sigma dash and when N is equal to 5, the lowercase D2 value is 2.326, capital D2 or uppercase value is 4.918 and D1 is equal to 0. Substituting in the control limits, we get CL is equal to 2.326 into 0 0.2, UCL is 4.918 into 0 0.2, LCL is 0 into 0 0.2. So the final 3 sigma control limits are CL is equal to 0 0.4652, UCL is equal to 0 0.9836 and LCL is equal to 0. Problem 2. The measurement of 20 subgroups of size 4 samples each gave the following results that is x double bar is 33.3 and r bar is equal to 8.2. Write down the control limits for the mean and range charts. Solution, let us first list down the values which are given that is subgroups means it is the number of samples that is k which is equal to 20. Sample size is nothing but n which is 4 x double bar is 33.3 and r bar is 8.2. Starting with the x bar chart, it is case 2 when the process standards are unknown. So the 3 sigma control limits are given by CL equal to x double bar, UCL is x double bar plus a2 r bar, LCL is x double bar minus a2 r bar. And when n is equal to 4, a2 value is 0 0.729. So substituting and simplifying, the final control limits for the x bar chart are CL equal to 33.3, UCL is equal to 39.2778 and LCL is equal to 27.3322.
Next, the control limits for the R chart, that is case 2 when the process standard is unknown. The 3 sigma control limits are CL equal to R bar, UCL is equal to D4 R bar, LCL is equal to D3 R bar. When N is equal to 4, D4 is 2.282 and D3 is equal to 0 from the tables. So we get CL is equal to 8.2, UCL is 2.282 into 8.2 and LCL is 0 into 8.2. Therefore, the final control limits are CL equal to 8.2, UCL is 18.7124 and LCL is equal to 0. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video SQC part 4 where I'll find solutions to problems based on the mean and range charts that is pi markers.